Welcome to the setup guide for UPS for WooCommerce. Hi, I'm Sean, and I'm one of the guys here at ExtensionWorks. Today, I'm going to talk you through the installation and activation of your new plugin, a quick configuration that will get you up and running within two minutes, how to test for your rates, some more advanced settings which we'll talk about, unpackable items, and also how to order your rates, and then following that, some frequently asked questions. Okay, so let's get started. I have a basic installation of WordPress along with WooCommerce. I've added some simple products and now we're going to add my plugin. So click on Add New, Upload, and choose my file. In this instance, it's a UPS plugin. Click on Install Now. Next, I want to activate the plugin. And now we're presented with some really important information. The current UPS plugin requires an additional download of the ExtensionWorks Framework plugin. So all you have to do is click on Install the ExtensionWorks plugin. This will grab the latest version off the internet and install it as a simple plugin. Okay, now we have to click Activate. Okay, that's done. Next, we want to activate our UPS plugin. This will ensure we always continue to get updates. So head to Dashboard, ExtensionWorks Plugins, add your license key, and next click Activate. Okay, that's done. Now that we've done our installation, an activation of the UPS plugin, it's time to configure it. So head to WooCommerce, Settings, make sure your base location is set correctly, as well as the currency. In these instances also, I'm only going to allow all the countries, but you may want to select specific ones that you'd like to ship to. We're also presented with a warning here from our plugin, and it's telling us to, to ensure that we've got a postcode entered. So let's head over to Shipping, UPS, and now this is our plugin settings. So this is our quick guide. So I'm going to pop in a postcode. I'm going to allow all countries. This should also, if you've changed the settings on the other page, I'd suggest that you mirror those here, so the countries that you'd like to ship to. Letter mail, I'm going to ship with parcels. The unpackables I'm going to send directly, and I'm going to leave the recommended box packing method as box packing. I'm going to randomly select some boxes I'm going to use. Now these were predetermined and pre-populated from UPS themselves. But again, you don't have to use these, you can use your own. And I'm going to select all shipping service types. Again, this is my example, but you may want to turn specific ones on and off. Shipping racks to display, you can change that later. And last but not least, you'll need to put your username and password and your license number in here. And the pickup option, I always leave as customer counter. Now that those options have been saved, it's time to test. So let's view the site. Again, I've got a really basic, simple theme coming from WordPress. So let's head to the shop. Let's um, pick one of my items, view the cart. And there we have it. We've got some rates already from UPS. Let's change that to another country. Just to double check, let's pick Australia. Oh, 
Yeah. There we have it. Rates are getting populated from UPS successfully. Next up, I'm going to show you all the other settings as well as some um, smaller configurations that may be applicable for you. All right, so let's jump in and have a look at some more detail around this plugin. As you've seen, I've already put a postcode in. Here, I'll select only specific countries. Again, you can leave that as all. I'll come back to debug at the very end, but that's very important that you understand what debug does. A handling fee. This time I'm going to add a, a flat rate of $12. And I'll add it to the cart, handling fee to the cart value. We have several box packing methods. Um, I generally advise customers to use the box packing, um, the one that is recommended. Um, this will attempt to place the items that are in the cart into a predetermined box that you would select down here. Also with unpackables, you have several options here, but again, if a customer's checking out and you don't have a size box that you would generally put it into, um, our plugin will send that item only across as a separate item to the, to the uh, UPS API for rating. So I leave it as send unpackables directly. Here I'll also add in a new box as well. Let's call it original test box. And in this one, I'm not going to use this as a letter box either. Um, I may turn off some of these services. Again, you can also price adjust these accordingly as well on a per service basis. So this one here I might add in um, an extra $5. Um, and this one an extra $7. Fallback. I generally would remove the word fallback and maybe put UPS. Um, standard rate and here again this is really up to you what your fallback rate would should be um, but $15 could be good enough but if you're shipping international let's um let's make that $55 okay let's save that let's head over to our screen and let's see what we get. There we go, we've got some new services plus the marked up ones also. One other thing we should really look at here is debug and what does debug mode mean? So debug allows you to, if you're getting stuck that is, uh, you'd like to do some more testing and understand what things are happening behind the scenes. This is also great if uh, you'd like to get some support from us and um, we'll generally ask for the debug information. So let's, um, let's update the cart. Okay. Oops. I'll add another item in there. Click on update cart. Okay, now we can see exactly what's happening behind the scenes. There's a lot of information here. 
but one specific thing you want to see is the correct box packing solution is being used. And also, it's found the right container or box to be used to pack the item. And from there, you'll see the rates at the bottom. And finally, I'll provide links to our three most commonly asked questions which are, why do my rates seem so high compared to my online pricing? Also, how do extension works go and pack my items? And last but not least, the most common one actually, really, is dimensions and weight must always be added to your products.